Hey guys, Lex here, back for some more Nino Kuni. Last time, we went to the ghost ship and then we did a bunch of side quests. Now we're gonna go get this final gem. First, I gotta talk to this guy. And to you, you can't be entering without the permission of the elder of the village of Yule, yes? You do not know of where I am speaking, go simply south, yes? Yes. Uh. So, one thing I'm gonna do... Uh, I gotta go down here first, but... Okay. Let me do... Seek Fortune. Uh, I've been messing around with my controller and... Looks like... Uh, yeah, looks like the... it's a controller issue. I don't know, it might be a Steam issue. I'm not sure why. Try to... Oh wait, how's it here now? What the heck? This one? Really gig again. Uh, yeah, let me try fighting it. One last time. If it if it controller doesn't work, then I'm switching up the mouse. We can do this. And... Yep, still happening. Switching the mousey keyboard right now. Mid battle. Okay. What can I say? It's a gift. Probably should have played with mouse and keyboard from the start anyway. Alright. Okay. I don't like clicking that. I did some testing beforehand. So I know some of the buttons. But I didn't do any conversation stuff. Oh, no, it's just good. Hmm? Right here. Oh, nice. Jumbo star drop. The one that I need the most of. I think every day I have is a star. Let's go in. Yule, home of the snow folk. I don't know what voice to give him. Wow, this place is amazing! It sure is! Look at the lights coming through the snow! It's beautiful! And look at those big fluffy things! I've never seen one before! What are they? Them? Oh, they're called Tomtis. And it, you only get them by here in the Winter Isles. Everywhere else is too warm for them, see? Really? Wow, they're so cute! Yeah, yeah, they're lovely, but can we talk about this inside? I think I can feel my blood turning to ice. I'll second that emotion. Freezing my bits off I am. Brr. Uh. <gasps> we get... things. Welcome to Yule. Welcome to Yule, town of ice and snow. The air outside may be cold, but our hearts are always being very, very warm. It's this guy. Let me talk to her. The people of you are so odd, a delicious ice stew. To eat it together is our happiest time. Ice stew, it sounds nice, but doesn't it make you kind of cold? Ho ho ho, silly child. Very contrary. My ice stew blows away all chills. Well, she ain't lacking in culinary confidence, I'll give her that. <laughs> My ice stew is being the best in all the town. None better than I at its preparation exists. 
You're right, Mr. Drippy. She's full of confidence. And, and she just trying to hear more cocksure than Cock Robin himself. Excuse me, ma'am. Can we ask you a favor? You wish to enjoy my unbeatable ice stew, please. I'll eat all the more. Um, well, not exactly. Uh, no, such a shame. Sorry to disappoint you, Grandma, but it's your confidence we're after. Just a little bit of it, mine. Please, just a little. All you have to do is hold still for a moment. Yes, 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 child, like this. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Thanks. Alright, this is gonna be a pain because... Uh, with a mouse, I'm moving around. And that's really annoying <laughs> for uh, cutting. So, uh, take heart. See, I can move my, like, angle while I'm here. <laughs> uh, haven't said strength to believe in oneself. Confidence. Being finished already, then you will come and try my ice to come. Okay. So I need to figure out how to talk. Actually, I can just talk with a controller. I'll just use mouse and keyboard for combat. <laughs> Alright. Let's try... Wait, is this a quest? Talk to her. Being in Snow's place is not being so bad. I am eating as much ice stew as I am wanting, never getting fat. But my washing is always freezing stiff when I am hanging out for drying. Terrifying monster is hiding in the glittering grotto. That is what the rumors are saying. I am not going anywhere near that place. Oh no. Let's talk to this guy. Maybe I should talk to this guy. Welcome to Yule, town of ice and snow. The air outside may be in cold, but our hearts are always being very, very warm. Uh, instructed nerd. Oh, you're here at last. I was beginning to think my predictions were incorrect. They weren't, of course. Ah, you mean you've been waiting out here in the cold for us? I think you'll find it was for a good reason. I need you to help me with some more of my research. Snow loving creatures. Derwin has moved into Yol in search of more creature data. Okay. Flipmon, does it never flip and stop with you? Ah, I think you'll find that exactly what I predicted you would say. Which creatures do you need us to tame for you this time, Derwin? I need you to bring me three examples of how the climate of the Winter Isles affects the physiological development of indigenous creatures. First travels atop a blue flower. The second is a proud creature that has found its niche in the glittering grotto. Write that down for later, so I don't keep looking at the thing. That sounds like a real interesting uh, bunch of creatures, Derwin. Did you expect my studies to focus on uninteresting creatures? I think you'll find the Winter Isles are replete with misery out of frankly fascinating life forms. I hope you'll embrace the opportunity to further the cause of science yet again. Don't let me down. Oh, and I cannot study them if you send them to the familiar, so please don't waste my time by doing so. Well, now then, bring all three back to me. I'll be sure to acknowledge your contribution in my next fascinating paper. Oh god. Uh, there's... Oh, look at those hearts. Stop saying those things, I am blushing, yes? Oh, every time I'm touching so fluffy fluffy! Oh, wait. The building? Oh. Oh. Meat. Use. Our chests. There's a green, blue, and all that. Uh, cat's cradle. Let's rest for the 240. That's insane. <laughs> Even though I'm rich, but still. Look, man, your richness companion got a couple of pages. Those tomties just love being nice to people on it. I reckon this must be their doing too. Other islands.
I trust you had another perfect night's sleep at the Crazy Cow, whatever it's called. <laughs> Up to the sky. I've been to get the Solosium series at Temple of Trials. I am feeling super excited, but I am hearing the Temple of Trials being in the middle of the desert. I am worrying I will be melting there. Yeah, I did see you there. Oh, is this the chest? This angle? Stand back. Perfect. Soul Shield. People of fuel are being good at dealing with the cold, but very bad at dealing with heat. I think the local monsters are probably being exactly the same. Okay, let's steal your heart, kid. Oh, this is being too high, perhaps. Are you okay? How did you hurt yourself? I am being fine. Thank you for your concern. It is just that I love to tobogganing. But I am having toboggan from a very high place this time. My balance was lost and... Maybe you shouldn't go so high next time. Your mom and dad must worry about you. No, no, everything is being fine. I am not slightly frightened of such heights. Just because you ain't scared doesn't mean your mom and dad ain't, though, does it? Hey, Mr. Trippy, do you think the boy maybe has more courage than he needs? Ah, uh, you think that's why he's taking such a big risk, is it? Nice thinking, Ollie boy. Sorry, I could borrow some of your courage. Bravery might be enough to help somebody who needs it. Is it truly being a good idea? I am not becoming of a cowardly coward. It's okay, we only need to borrow a little. He won't notice a thing. Truly, really, then please take freely. Thanks. Now hold still for just one second. Uh, oh, <laughs> it's double clicking for take heart too. Out in sturdy force of fearlessness. Urge. Oh, this is strange. I'm feeling perhaps a little calmer now. Oh, it's that lady who gives a quest, but she keeps circling. It's those two. Uh, the big one. I can't talk. If my fur was looking like a raw, I would be even cuter, yes? Possibly. The sky is being very clear tonight, yes? We are seeing the aurora without difficulty. Yeah, it's the kid and the wife. Oh, it's you. Hello again. You came at just the right moment. Us had another funny turn. Can you take a look at him for me? Okay. And what's wrong with you? We're not peddling as our wares here. I made up my mind. Come on, let's go. What? But we can't. If we do, all the stock we brought in the hammer will go off. Never mind that. How could we trust people who live with these things like these? I'd rather come with our stock without Rodden than have to stay here. Come on, we're leaving. Look, Mon, are you two having another Barney? It's like you're flipping Bobby or something. Mr. Trippy, you can't say anything. <laughs> Why not? Oh, hello again. You'll never guess what, my husband has had another funny turn. Please, you have to help him. Let's see now. Yep, he's heartbroken and it looks like he's lacking belief this time. How do you two manage to get heartbroken so flipping off today? This isn't the time to be scolding them, Mr. Trippy. We have to help him. A mean-hearted hubby. One of the traveling merchants suddenly finds himself unable to trust anyone, much to his wife's dismay. Restore his belief so that he can trust people once more. That's what I like to hear. Let's get ourselves some belief then, shall we? Uh, we don't have... Uh, truck chests. I forgot. What do we have left? Uh, there's a blue chest here, and a red chest. Oh. If you are using a hole like this one, anyone could be catching fish here. It is a big part of Fuel's charm, I am thinking. Oh, I see you are having a cauldron. You are preferring the alchemy, yes? But how do you know what a cauldron is, Mr. Tobtay? My grandfather was having one too, yes. I am not performing the alchemy of smoke, but I have seen him do it many times. A strange man was appearing out of the cauldron, a very, very strange... Oh, you mean a genie, huh? Yes, I do, yes. I wish also to be performing alchemy, but I have not the power of magic. 
Every time you had, you needed to convince the genie to work with you. And that, my furry friend, ain't flipping easy. Oh, is this being so? I was not following this. My grandfather taught me to his recipes. You will be wishing to know them, yes? Here to you. Some new alchemy formula. Go to the cauldron to try them out. So I did look up that quest with that other old dude. I need to beat the game before I could use them. Snowdrop bonbons. Fruit flan. I can make some of these. Patty cake. Sarah Sparilla Sunday. Eye on the bone. Eye on the bone. And we do eat <laughs> the bone. <laughs> okay, shin bone. And snow white ice cream. Or snowflakes. And hammer of justice. Oh. Tainted claws. Ice Queen Claws. Oil Armor. Yeah, I could actually make this. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Negative 24 accuracy? No way. That's useless. Blessed Helm. Gold Stones, Ring a Bell, Pieces of Supple Letter. Crimson Fang. Whoa, that is so weak. <laughs> Deep Blue Scale. Should I make a blessed helm? Hmm. Nah. Maybe I could buy one later. What was that? Oh no. Up to her. My grandchildren are playing in the snow with Tomte. I'm being well relieved that everyone is getting along so well, oh yes. My brother was in always telling me he is exploring the northern caves. Yesterday he was telling me about secret passages that are hiding in there. Ah, I am building biggest snowman in you. I am knitting lovely gloves. Soon they will be finished. Really, that's neat. Are they a gift for someone? Yes, they are. They are being for my grandmother. Now that she was old, I, she is feeling cold so very badly. There is that all of you. Your granny will made up love. <laughs> before I have made her a scarf and before this had a hat. Oh, you did? That's a nice of you. You do an awful lot of knitting, huh? Yes, I've been somewhat hard work, but the smile of my grandmother's fine payment. What a little sweetie. That's the kind of kindness you only see once in a blue moon, ain't it? There is. Excuse me, you mind? Uh, fine. No, I do not mind. I could really use some of your kindness to help other people who need it. Would you mind sharing a little with us? Eric, but I'm not knowing how. All I need to do is hold still for a second. Can you do that? <laughs> Nothing happens. Eight. Warm, fuzzy gift of generosity. Hope you are oh, helping many people in need, indeed. Oh, wait. Right now, it's being perfect fishing season. The fish are growing plump and juicy. Yum. The entrance to glittering grotto is being this way, but there are a lot of monsters. It's being dangerous for the children. Outsiders are always freezing to death here. Yes, they are not wearing proper clothing. Give us proper clothing, then. Uh, I think this is what I needed. Uh, what was it again? Belief. Oh, I thought it was kindness. Never mind. Wait, that's the robot. Uh, spring lock, I mean. What? I am making cold compress for you, yes? I will be making you feel much better. My back is hurting a lot of late. I've been straining, talking to a big, tall Tomte. Full time to you, please, very much. What? Alright. 
Oh, there. Burgers. 40k for a... Pixie Doo. Uh, I don't really need these. Strong coffee. Already got a bunch. Cappuccino. Now this is what I need. 100k! <laughs> And I think I have enough of everything else. Your stone be gone. Oh shit! Uh, and this is a this is a fire sword, right? Yeah. We need it. Ice shard. Oh, bly. Oh shit! <laughs> I almost. I'll buy like three. Or since it's an ingredient. Mm. Get to you for now. And I'll buy three of these also since it's an ingredient. Ice work. Okay. Buy two. And four, buy four of these. Ooh. Buy one for collection. What do you could use today? <laughs> uh, Sasquatch resistant to ice. Hmm. So you don't really need magic defense. So, uh, oh shit. Uh, more? You, 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 and you. Shield. Ice shield. Oh, resistance to ice. Probably need that. Or here. Fangs. Wow. Let's buy three. Sell stuff. Uh, I think I have Sprite Duo. I already sold those. Sell these if I need to, but uh, where are those daggers? Buster Blades. Nobody's using them. I'll just sell all but one. I'll do two, three, just in case we need wind. Big to you. Let's take this. Oh shit! <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. Talk to these two. Ah, what will do? What has become wrong with him? Er, so cold. Such cold. I am hating to go outdoors. And what are you saying? Nothing the matter husband has become suddenly afraid of going into the outside. But why, if it is being so very icy, I might die of freezing. To become of the man who was once the strongest against cold in the village, hmm? Did something stop being able to stand the cold? Ma'am? Exactly, he did. Before, there was not existing a day cold enough to stop him from venturing out. I will not go into the outside. I will freeze to ice, burr. Mr. Drippy, he must be working hard at, huh? You lost this is restraint. Can't bear the cold anymore, looks like. It's his poor wife I feel sorry for her mind. Better help out, eh? A shivering wreck. A man from Yule's refusing to leave the house. Kevin giving in to his dislike for cold. Restores restraint so that he could go outside again. He don't go help. He'll never be able to leave hope again. We'd have to do something. 
Well, it's a simple enough procedure. Find some restraint and hand it over. We can handle that, boy. Do I have any restraint? I know restraint, I do. Good evening to you. Welcome to you. Hmm. I am feeling suddenly warm. Why was I complaining about so about coldness? Coldness is nothing to me. Yes, but you are being cured. You will go to outside now. Yes, yes, and yes. Forgive me for inflicting worry, wife. I am to be thanking you for this. Yes. Please be accepting of my thanks. Nice. Giving a wreck. Man for mules refusing to leave the house. I mean, to just his lack of cold. Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, let's talk to, uh, Horus. Nyat Nature's Tongue. Where is it? Spirit Medium. Oh, Oliver, enjoying the snow. And what about the Aurora? Amazing, isn't it? It sure is. I never saw anything like it before. But it's so flipping cold out there, Mon. How the heck can you stand around gawping at the sky in that chill? I don't feel cold, do I, stupid? But I still end up coming inside, I suppose. Of course you did. It's cold enough to freeze your ghoulies off out there, mon. Warm in here, though, ain't it? Funny since it's made out of snow. These igloos were built by the snow people, the Tomte. Some say they are the warmth in the Tomte's hearts that keeps their igloo so cozy and warm. It'd be true, you know. I reckon them walking fur piles are almost as friendly as the fairies. Not quite, of course, but close. You should try their ice stew. A bowl of that in your comfort of a nice, warm glue is an experience you'll never forget. Ice stew? Yes, it's a hearty stew with an icy bite. It's made from those flowers there. What are they called again? I can't seem to remember. Let's make you challenge for this time, shall we? Go on and tell me what the flower in front of me is called. You're definitely in the wizard's companion now somewhere. Come talk to me when you find out. Alright, I haven't looked at the wizard's companion in a while anyway. So, I know there's a story. Where is it? Uh, is it this one? Wouldn't stop crying. Oh, was it this? The Bear Man and the Princess Tears. Kidnap Princess. Bear Man do the princess who wouldn't cry. Tears at last. Forbidden spell. Boy who would be good. Seven Days of Darkness. Ever Wandering Eye. Oh, I kind of want to translate that, but I don't. <laughs> now. My other self. Plug in from a dream. Rippered Boy. Green the stone. How much the stone will I have next? Oh, wait, let's go to region of Winter Isles. You will. Look at the northern Winter Isles. Some say Lamarin. Collection of islands, extremely cold. Ular. Summerlands are. I don't see anything on the notes here. Oh, heal. Tundra's town. Yule is located in the largest of the though is cold. Uh, ice stew, permanently cold and snowy. Cold at first, but very warm hearted. A legend that is curious lets you take a glimpse of its past complex layout. Hmm. Hmm. That's weird. How about delicacies? Asperilla, bunches of grapes, snowflake, man, I don't know, where we would get that, frosty, fruit, uh,
Hmm. Let me read this book again. Maybe I have an item. Come <laughs> here. Flower. I want to get one of these. I want cold stone. Ooh. Is that it? Angula? Try that. Uh, I don't need to go and find any, just go look them up and up. Angola. Angola. Damn it. Go through pages. You'll find an item that looks like these flowers here. Easy peasy. No flake. Those were jade marbles. <laughs> just blizzard bloom, blizzard bloom. All right, let's try that. That was it. That was what they were called. Lizard blooms grow all over this region. A lot of creatures even carry them around. Oh, I need to give you a new spell, don't I? How about something to help you in battle? Loud burst. Oh, oh finally a wind spell. <laughs> Neato, thanks, Horus. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Probably use cloud burst more for its ability to nix all your enemies than for the damage it does. Perfect for wizards who don't like playing catch the fireball, you know. Beginners. <laughs> Sounds right up your street, eh, Ollie boy? Tried to mix frostbite and cloudburst together once to see if I could make it snow. Did it work? Sort of. Well, it was more like hail, really. Great big razor sharp hail. Oh. Ah, oh, it's so nice to see the snow again. It reminds me of something, though. I can't think of what. If only I could remember. Don't fret, Mon. You're a ghost and it's bound to be some memory loss involved in the engulment process. I'm sure it's nothing important. I hope you're right. Sorry, a bit distracted there. I think I'll go and climb a mountain or something to clear my head. See ya. Good evening to you. Yeah, good evening to you. Let's try... Uh, let's look at that book. Or spell. I can't see... Uh, I already forgot what it's called. <laughs> Cloudburst, there it goes. Cloudburst, cause a fearsome rain to fall upon your foes. This spell summons a rainstorm to pour a small focused area of the battlefield. While the great volume of the water produced is powerful in itself, spell can also be used for practical things like putting out fires. It has long been believed that the rain also prevents wizards from casting spells. Be sure to bring this to bear on your enemies. Really? I thought it was gonna be an actual wind spell. Okay. Let's steal from him. Yeah, let's steal from him first. People of this town are being very friendly, very warm. We Tomta are being very happy. Sure, it's nice to see humans and Tomtas living together, huh? Ain't it though, cohabiting peace and harmony they are. Yes, we are, yes, and never fighting, always we are being friends. There is beautiful. It's not often you hear a heartwarming tales of communities coming together like that, eh? Oh look, Mr. Drippy, the lava is glowing. And I reckon I know why, are. Tom Tiffrin here is overlaying belief in it. 
Hey, Mr. Thompson, can I ask you something? Asking me? Oh, yes, of course, please. Would you share a little of your belief with us? Yes, of course, yes. We are being friends, yes. Friends are sharing everything, yes. Thank you very much. All right, let's steal it. No more certainty of unshakable faith. Some belief. This being enough, yes? Sure is. Thank you so much, Mr. Thompson. Uh, let's talk to her. Ah, it would be so very nice one day. Perhaps I will go. Go where, ma'am? I'm being a lifelong resident of the Winter Isles. I am born here and have never left. I would like so very much just to visit the lands of the south. Bright sunshine, the deep blue seas, and the dwellers of these lands are spending their days in bathing suits. Imagine such things. Sounds like you'd really love to visit Castaway Cove, huh, Mr. Drippy? Just a bit, man, and she should. They have a spare bathing suits for us. I'm sure they'd have someone in her size. Really? You are thinking so? You have been to Castaway Cove? I am being so very jealous of you. Do you bring your bathing suits with you? Will you show them to me now? Put our... Put our swimming trailers on! And this cold! You're flipping joking at you! Oh, you're a misunderstanding. I just wish to see one, as I wish to own a swimsuit of my own. Please, will you perhaps be making me the happiest girl in the world by bringing me a snazzy swimsuit from Castaway Cove? I will absolutely be rewarding you finally. Sure. The old woman would like nothing more than to get her hands on the snazzy swimsuit. Thank you, so perhaps now soon I will be owning the swimsuit of my dreams. The girl who downs her. Let's go ask her if she could help us, shall we? Sure, let's go see her. Oh, I cannot thank you. I look forward extremely. Right. Guess this is gonna be a side quest. Thing. Got some belief by there, ain't it, Ollie boy? Go on, give heart. Noble certainty. Oh, I feel calmer somehow. Goodness, I can't believe I was so rude to the Tomte after they were so kind to us. What an oaf I've been. Are you better now, sir? You've cured me again, didn't you? Thank you so much. I'd better go and apologize to everyone here in town. Oh, but before that, here, to say thanks. Oh, wow. Will all spirit do? Mean hearted hubby, one of the traveling merchants, suddenly finds himself unable to trust anyone, much to his wife's dismay. Alright. And let's go here. Is the important person. The chest here, I think. Yep. Oh, cappuccino. So he's the main quest guy. Welcome to Swiss Solutions, where are those in need? Alright, bounty hunt, new one, Slay Bell Hill. One on the Slay Bell Isles, Northern Winter Isles. Okay, invaded Slay Bell northeast of the Winter Isles. They cannot be allowed to stay. Alright, let's take that. People with more troubles. Uh, where's the board? Right here. New errands. Aimed Hamlin receives a lost faith. Oh man. Young girl's ghost has been spied in southeast of Yule. Cave southeast. Okay. Young one has asked you to do whatever it takes. Swimsuit or got. Going. All right. Uh. Wait. Do I have faith? No, I don't. Oh, let's talk to this guy. Main quest. Oh, welcome to you. You are being. You are being Oliver. Yes. Cracky, Ollie boy. There you were with the Tomtes for his buddies, and you never even told us. They're secretive, you are. No, you are. Uh, I don't. Who are you? And how do you know my name? I am learning it from my teacher, yes. 
She's being your biggest fan. Her teacher? A teacher, yes. She's coming to our village to study the ancient archaeology. I am being her pupil, yes. Hello to you, I am being Ake. <laughs> you're studying archaeology, but you're a snow person. Yes, Atomte, yes. I am being Ake. Hello there, Ake. Perhaps you'd like to introduce me to your new friends? Ah, teacher, hello to you. You are being very late, yes? Oh, oh my, Oliver! Goodness, this is such a privilege, I imagine. The great wizard Oliver coming all the way out here to this frozen corner of the world. Who? Me? But oh, how perfectly rude of me. I must introduce myself. I am Tabitha. I'm a researcher and professor. I've been reading all about your exploits in the Daily Yarn. You're quite the news personality. Daily Yarn, eh? That's how you Grimmelkins learn what's going on in the world, ain't it? Well, aren't you a logical little thing? Yes, the Daily Yarn is the premier news provider for Grimmelkin across the world. And lately, we've all been glued to the tales of your adventures. Gee, that's a uh, thank you, ma'am. I'm kind of... it's kind of embarrassing, but thanks. What perfect nonsense. Embarrassing? Don't be silly. You are a hero. Oh, by the way, I have something to tell you. You're here in search of one of the magic stones to help restore your wand to its formal... <laughs> Who told you? How did you... <laughs> yes, it's exactly why we're here. Then you're in luck. I am a professor of archaeology, you see, and I'm going to tell you everything I know about Mornstar. Crikey. What are the he chances over that day? Eh? There's a turn up for the books. Yeah, not at all. Now, according to my research, Mornstar was fashioned by none other than the Wizard King himself. And just prior to settling down to his eternal slumber, he divided the incredible power to one, sealed it into three magic stones. The stones were entrusted to his most faithful followers in order to prevent the wand's power from falling into the wrong hands. His most faithful powers, huh? Do you think that creature we fought on Tombstone Trail could have been one of them? Now, now, concentrate. Prepare yourself for the most important part of what I have to tell you. If my theory is correct, one of those followers and the stones we're interested with is in a cave beyond the village known as Glittering Grotto. Bingo, that must be where the map of the stones was pointing us to. Yeah, the map of the stones, you mean? You knew precisely where it was already, so I haven't helped you at all. True. How oh, inexpressibly disappointing. Well, that's not true. We didn't... I, it is true. We didn't know anything about the Wizard King or his followers or any of this stuff. Thank you, Professor. Professor Tabitha, what kind of pal... What kind of place is the Glittering Grotto? Well, as I mentioned, it's a cave just beyond you. A cave marked on ancient maps as the Maw of the Mountain King. My theory is that the Mountain King and the Wizard King are the one and the same. Anyway, the cave has the power to suck objects into the darkest depths. All of which leaves me to theorize that one of the Wizard King's magic stones may be well hidden on the deepest part of the grotto. Uh-oh, I've got a funny feeling about this. Yes, I'm sure you have. You great big whip. It's called terror. <laughs> no, it's not. Shut up. It's intrepidness and, uh, excitement. Before you go rushing off in pursuit of the stones, you'll need the permission of the village elder to enter the glittering grotto. Village elder? Precisely, but he's away at the gathering at the elders at the moment. You'll have to wait until tomorrow to meet him. I was hoping to be able to accommodate you at my home, but I'm afraid there's not enough room there to swing a cat. That's okay, you've done more than enough for us already. Thank you, miss, so much, Professor Tabitha. Don't be silly, it's me who should be thanking you. It's not every day you get to provide a renowned hero with help on his legendary quest. There should be room for you at the inn inside the entrance of the village. I wish you a perfectly wonderful night's rest. Nice. Oh. Uh. Let me check the quests. Okay, I need to go to Castaway Cove. I'll look for those later. Your kindness. So I think I have kindness, courage, and a swimsuit. Courage and kindness. Yeah! Did finally do those quests. 
wait. <laughs> Where are they? Uh, Bridge. Ding Dong Dell and Hamlin. Go to Hamlin. Wait, there's another one there. Uh oh. I don't know what that one. I never actually touched that one. Now, my boy, crack out, give heart, and serve him up a generous helping of courage. Give heart. I hope that's confidence. I say, while well, I still have not seized the moment and ask more of my hand in marriage, you just let your nerves get the better of you, I guess. But you're fine now, huh? I have never felt better. The stars are all in alignment. I shall win our hand before the day is out. Thank you so much for listening to my woes. It seems to have done wonders for my nerves. Please take this for your admirable patience. Yeah. Proposal postponed. The Hamlin man has suddenly become terrified of the woman he wants to marry. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> and over here. I don't remember what this was, and I never actually got the quest. Disbelief. Uh, what I mean, uh, sorry, you wanna make up your assistant? Being in such a if only I could, I regret leaving my assistance in the lurch, but I cannot contain this. Oh, but why? I have no gift for science. While progress marches on toward a brighter tomorrow, I remain yesterday's man. This time I've admitted that no good will ever come of my amateur tinkering. And knowing that, I have no choice but to retire. But you said your research was going so well. Save your breath, holy boy. That lost his confidence, he has. I don't know what he's researching, but it'd be a proper shame to see him give it all up. Crisis of confidence. Hamlin researcher has lost faith in his abilities and finds himself unable to proceed with his work. Restores confidence so that his research can continue. All right. I can't just watch us all of us life away. We have to help him out. Well, in that case, he's going to need an emergency injection of confidence. Get to it, Dolly boy. Oh yeah. I did everything! So far. <laughs> That's crazy. Guess we'll go inside that cave t uh, next time. <laughs> Heck, never mind. This is not a second to waste. I must continue my research. You know, got your coffers in back. Have you come to my aid once again? I don't know how to thank you. On second thought, perhaps I do. Please accept this small token of my gratitude. A file sage a secret. Crisis of confidence. Hamlin researchers lost his faith in his abilities and find himself unable to proceed with this work. Alright. And we go to Ding Dong Dale. Maybe they have some ingredients. Iced coffee. Oh. Humbler honey. Good on that for now. Here, you've got some kindness in that locket by there, ain't it? Cast give heart. Alright. Sorry for being so mean to you, I didn't do it on purpose. You back to normal. Hey, thank goodness. Looks like you're okay now. Be good, be nice to your friends now, won't you? I will, I promise. It was you, it was you who helped me, wasn't it? Just like before, I mean. Here, this is for you, thank you so much. Damn, three cheeseburgers. Grandma little girl from Ding Dong Dell is unable to show her friends the mere hint of kindness. Now we go to 
That's the way it goes. Oh, yeah, her. I remember her. Oh, how wonderful to see you again. You're looking for a designer to bring an element of elegance to your life, perhaps? Actually, yes, we're looking for a snazzy swimsuit. We thought maybe you would have one. We thought correctly, in theory at least. Alas, my last snazzy swimsuits have been taken. Oh, somebody bought it, huh? Tragically not, it was in fact stolen by the most troubling seagull, and one without an ounce of fashion sets of that. Jeepers, a seagull stole your swimsuit? Uh, you wouldn't happen to remember which direction you flew off in, will you? I can't help by certain... Or I, was, or, yeah, I was rather traumatized at the time, but a few may have flown to the west. Only the ancients know where it might be now, however. West, huh? Alright, come on, Mr. Trippy. Hang on a minute, Mon. Don't you think we should get more clues first? Oh, uh, yeah. West. Oh. God. Right, let's go west. Uh, I'm gonna use my mouse and keyboard for this one. Maybe this west. spells. That's the one thing I don't know. Use tab. No. Escape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. D. Oh wait, it's, it's right there. C. Okay. Uh, fortune. Nothing. Okay. Let's talk to him. Oh, look, the seagull has a swoops in his mouth. No oh, spotted one. It must be a pesky bird that's been tormenting Castaway Cove. Must be, huh? Do you think it all, uh, he'll give it back? So I'm going to find out, I'll get your one and word out. Can we just kill it? Ah, what pretty colors. Such soft fabrics. But how do I wear it? Excuse me, Mr. Seagull. Would you mind giving that swoops back to us? Wow, how can you? Understand what I'm saying? Every word, you feathered felon. Now hand over that costume you perched. That bikini by there is valuable piece of swimwear. It's worn by a beautiful princess. Race it on the likes of you, it is. You don't even know what to do with it, Mon. Alright, alright. There's no need to get in a flap about it. Oh, was I meant to know? So precious. Well, I suppose it's only fair to give it back. Here, take it. Really? Gee, thanks, Mr. Siegel. Nice, a snazzy swimsuit. Wait till the flock hear that I've been talking to humans. I'll be a real feather in my cap. Uh, so instead of giving it back... <laughs> can I just go back to the lady? I like, I like this song. The cold... Yule. It's so cool, I'm having control with the mouse though. A quest southeast. And she were walks clockwise, so if I go counterclockwise. <laughs> okay, if I went clockwise, I would have gotten to her faster. <laughs> Me and my, it's a real item. This is basically really a snazzy swimsuit. It's just the kind you wanted, ma'am, please, it's yours. Hang on a second, you ain't been putting that thing on and try going for a swim around here, are you? Ah, it's not possible to be swimming near these parts, you silly fairy. Oh, I know that, don't I? I was a joke, Mom. A flippin' joke. Humorful, but now that you have the brought my dream to me, I would like one day to try it and see. Perhaps I'll visit Castaway Cove for holidays. Gee, that's a neat idea. Good man, I promise. Hey, thank you. Here, boy, this is for sure my debt to you. Sassarsapillarillo Sundays. Two Snow White ice creams. Hot new look. The old woman would like nothing more than to get her hands on a snazzy swimsuit. 
Okay. But I still need two more. Let's see. What quests do I need? Oh, wait, no. Sided in a cave southeast. Alright. Oops. <laughs> yeah, but. I think it's still faster. And. southeast. See any, is that a cave? up there, isn't it? What? I'll grab those two chests. I hear him die. Some beasty lair around here in it, and we're no fit to fight shivering like this. Neckers. Ready? <laughs> right at her head. Snow glory gem. Oh! Let's talk to her. Ooh, huh? This girl, she. And it looks like an olive boy in the spirit realm she is, if she, I had to take a guess. I feel like she wants to tell you something. What should we do? Are you an idiot? Eh, you're joking, right? Do the same thing you always flip into, olive boy. Cast a spell to save the day in it. <laughs> uh, Mr. Drippy is great. You could see me? Oh yes, yes indeed. That's, uh, what's a young, uh, to go, I mean, girl like you doing over PI here, anyway? Well, I'm worried about my chapper copy. We used to always be together, you see, ever since I was a little girl. But then one day, we got caught up in an enormous blizzard while we were out playing, and well, this happened to me. The problem is, my chapper copy hasn't left my side since. I think she's scared. I'm really worried about him. He can't stay with me forever. But what? Don't you want to be together? <laughs> you saw you want me to kill it? Uh, it's not about what I want. I'm dead, <laughs> idiot! It's about what's right for him. He has to learn to survive on his own and get on with his life. Hey, maybe you could help. Would you mind toughening him up for me? It has to be done. Oh, it doesn't look like uh, you could take him with you right now. Oh, it doesn't look like you, it's, you got too many familiars. Maybe you could get somebody to take care of one or two of them for a while. Oh shit, do I have to? Okay. Go to you. Oh, 
wait. That's the flower one I just saw. <laughs> uh, let's drop off. Uh, drop off Shrimp Paler. Flower, and I actually do need that flower. Right, mouse and keyboard time. No slacking, you lot. Swing! Allow me. Here goes. Wow, I could choose. Get a load of this. Ready? Center. That's the worst. Let's see, T for Tangy. There's one over there. Oh, I need to catch that one too. I think the one with the piles of snow on its head. Get a Sasquatch. Let's go. Oh, I need to catch all of these. Used to the battling. Your chances, do you? I need all three. Swing! But oh, just for the level up, let's catch this one. It's a squish, it's a squash. Second, I have to get into Glitter and Grotto for the other I, other guy. Squashy. Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna have to travel back and put it back. <laughs>
Good evening to you. Good evening to you. Let me see. You still need a creature to rise atop a blue flower. Proud one. Okay. I know might I know something that may be causing the issue, but let's see. Uh, okay. You could see me. Oh yes, indeed. But what's the oh, wait? Uh, one day blizzard. Really worried. Don't you want to be together? Uh, maybe you could help. Maybe you might toughen you up for me. It has to be done. Young girl's worried about her pet jabber guppy isn't coping since she became a ghost. Agree to look after the girl's pet jabber guppy. Crikey, there's a mature. Brings a tear to my eye, does. It must, I must be getting soft. Well, at least we could do is give you a hand in it. We'll make your pal the most self-reliant jabber guppy on this side of Hamlin. Mark my words. Really? Oh, thank you. So, how about you bring him back here when he's grown up another ten levels? Alright, we'll see you then. Uh, come on, Ollie boy. Let's teach the scaredy guppy the ways of the world. Alright, uh, since... Switch you out with... Ten levels. He's gonna be higher than all the other guys. <laughs> all right. Uh... Wait. Oh, who who could use the world spear? Use the green man's cloak now. And here, piercing fangs. Cool. No, I haven't even looking at people's tricks. Tricks. Yeah, I don't need to. <laughs> Everyone's got what they need. Alright, let's go. Oh, I think I should. I think that's all the quests that I need. But I want to try one thing. I, I may have fixed the controller issue. I just want to fight something. I'm about to end the episode. Okay. This works. Stay calm now. Swing. Step aside. Ready? No, it did not work. <laughs> I thought I fixed it, but I didn't. Ooh, 
slice and dice. Uh, single enemy. Just get rid of roly poly, I guess. Spe I don't know if I already have one or not. I can't remember. But anyway, I'm gonna go casino and then I'll end it. Thank you. Why when you do that? Alright, I just won 1.6 mil chips, so I'm gonna sell the stuff I got, which was, uh, where is it? Oh, here. But all these Medal of Agilities, let's keep like three, only 2.250k. Uh, I also bought 99 of these, I wanna keep all but... Get like 20. And I also bought maxed out on Sage's Secrets, which uh, I just want to get the achievement, so. Yeah, so 480 something there. I didn't get an achievement for that. For a million? Or what's the achievement only for 500,000? Whatever. So anyway, I'm gonna end the episode here. And uh, next time we're gonna rest at the inn and then continue on with the quest. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye. I'm so cold. Ooh.